Ian's biggest challenge of the trip so far. <laughs> Making a cup of coffee. Well, there are like, apparently two, three different types of outlets in Italy. And so we're somewhere where they actually provide this adapter so you can make a copy. It's, it's quite confusing. Which one do you select? Shortest one? I'm gonna go shortest. Early start this morning, we're headed back up the mountain to San Marino, and we're gonna have breakfast with the commentators of the Giro. Um, you can go to fullbikes.com, you can see on the Giro page our, our first chat we had with them in the Meet the Commentators video, where we got some insight into you know who they are, their background a little bit. Today, we're gonna sit down and do a longer interview uh, you're going to be able to check that out. It'll be up on the website. It'll be on the Flow Bikes podcast on iTunes. So you can download the full conversation there. There'll be highlight clips up on the site, but you'll be able to get the whole thing. We're going to go and talk to them about what really goes into this process over the course of a three-week race and the transfers and commentating six hours a day for a 21 day stage race. So be sure to check that out as we head up to San Marino to have some breakfast with them. Uh, with the address Martin, Martin. without the S. I'll go to the next left, eh? Just finished talking to the commentators here uh, before the race on stage nine, the time trial. Really great um, talk that we have with them. You can listen to the full conversation on the Flow Bikes podcast on iTunes, so go check that out. And we'll be having more videos and highlights coming from that on the site on flowbikes.com. So you can watch all those coming in the next couple of days, next week. Ian. What were your thoughts, interesting takeaways from your conversation with those guys? I think just the amount of work and research that goes into it. I mean, the fact that they bring their own little craft kits uh, with scissors and glue so they can, you know, chop up the start lists and um, result sheets and make their own little notebooks was pretty incredible. You, you really get a sense of the amount of work that goes into it. Declan's uh, color-coded daily start list so he knows kind of who's leading the sprints points, who's in the breakaway, what riders are leaving GC. It, it's really, it's it's cool to see that uh, they do a lot, a lot of research. Can I get to you and all of us who have to ride with you? Uh, some fresh bibs. All right. Travis uh, had, you know, riding to work every day, back and forth, had uh, put, put quite the wear into his Castelli bibs. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm just saying, thankfully, they were black bibs and not white bibs. <laughs> but we have this fresh kit from Castelli that we got for doing the e-bike ride the other day. And uh, now it's Travis's, so... It's a really, 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 really nice kit. Moving up in the world. Yeah. Race reporter Ian Dilley. <laughs> Expert race reporter, how are you? Really, really wet. <laughs> did, you, did you get any good stories? Uh, no one was really interested in talking, but uh, it was pretty cool. I was able to stand right next to the riders as they were in the waiting area to go on the ramp and the tension was palpable. <laughs> it was 
raining really hard and nibbly Yates just looked really cold and not excited at all about going to do an hour long time trial. You look excited though. <laughs> I, you know, once I got completely soaked, it was sort of just like, meh. <laughs> what else are you going to do? Well, so. hopefully the GC favorites have your same sunny disposition. <laughs> the, uh, nobody ate it on the, not that I was hoping somebody would eat it on the slick turn onto the brick and uh, pink painted bike path, but I was positioned there just in case. Luckily, we're safe. <laughs> yeah, so today we are celebrating the Sangiovese grape. It is a common variety in the Emilia Romagna region, and there are heaps of wines in Italy made from this grape. We got a lovely bottle of wine from San Marino yesterday that they actually bottled specially for today's stage, and I think we can all agree it was really nice. I'm gonna go look for a little bit more of that uh, once we get this show uploaded. I didn't get to drink very much of it, uh, but I am looking forward to having some later on. Uh, to, to be fair, Michael's making up for lost time. You are, you're really whiny right now about the wine. <laughs> Would you like to wine some more? You, you, you had two open bottles on the counter when the day started. I don't want to hear about your uh, insufficient intake. You were you're well looked after. These are really good editors. Low-key day for the vlog getting through the stage nine time trial, but sleep is the top priority. Finally, we can get a little bit of rest after a lot of late nights. Ian, what do we got on tap for the people tomorrow? Uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones watch party? Yeah. <laughs> if there's anyone out there in Ricone and wants to watch Game of Thrones, just hit us up and we'll invite you over. Uh, we're uh, also, I think, hopefully, going to go talk with Hugh Carthy and Sean Bennett from EF. So, yeah, look for those pieces later in the Jira if it works out and they don't play on us or we don't play on them. We might just watch Game of Thrones. <laughs>